I'm gonna lay back and chill while I race this car. This is a rather quick vehicle, I must not lie. I mustn't lie, this vehicle is rather quick. Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Magic IQ here, and today we're doing something a little different than usual. We're putting the gameplay before the video. And I must say, this car is actually kind of moving. I'm playing pretty relaxed here, honestly. This build is by the homie YSN Kev, man. Make sure y'all go check him out over on TikTok, at YSN Kev. I will put his link down below in the description as well he puts out dope videos on tiktok some quick builds for you guys man and if you guys are already following there you guys would have already had this s class build man this thing's insane i really want to say i really appreciate you guys sending me all the builds to try out that you guys have man i really really appreciate it it means a lot i will always give credit where credit is due man y'all came up with some killer stuff bro so i appreciate y'all man much love and thank you guys for all the support on the videos recently, man. Make sure y'all leave a like on this video. I ah, really appreciate it. Let's see what time we're going to come up with here. Okay, I messed up right there really bad. I messed up really bad. This thing's a little slower around these corners, but besides that, it's pretty quick, man. And honestly, if I would have attacked some of these corners better, I could get a way better time, probably by like two or three seconds, just because I've lost a lot of time just now messing up on a few of these corners. And I think, as always, I'm missing auxiliaries. I always do that to myself. I always take gameplay videos without auxiliaries. So, I mean, as you guys can see, we just got sub 210. That's faster than any time I've gotten with the Vulcan, to be honest. So, I don't know. And I missed like two corners. We could have got sub 210. This thing's a beast, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Let's get straight into the build. Alrighty, man. So here we are in the garage. As you guys can see, man, we have the Ford GT, man. And this thing is a monster. So we got a top speed of 188 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds. And as you get into the horsepower, we got 732 horsepower and 657 max torque. We got a quarter mile time of 10.2. This thing's a balanced beast, bro. This thing's got good power, good handling, good acceleration, and a decent top speed, man. This thing is all around just a really good car. Now, I would only really use it on, you know, races where there's a majority of corner kings and speed ra or street races, not speed races. Because, as you guys know, in S-Class, speed races, there's a couple cars that completely outdo the rest of the class. Um, but luckily, there's not very many playlists that are dominated by straight line races. So, let's get into the parts here, man. Oh, but first, as you guys have seemed to remind me. Alright, now before we get into the parts here, as you guys can see, we're no longer using the 3.5 liter V6 that comes in this vehicle. We are using the 7.0 liter V8, man. This thing is the motor to go with. I believe it's the same motor that's in the Pista go figure um but let's get straight into the parts here as you guys see we have super induction an elite ecu super fuel system an elite exhaust as well as a super roots supercharger and a super nitrous a elite suspension here super brakes elite road tires an elite clutch a six speed gearbox and a differential that is also elite. Now, for the auxiliaries here, you can use whatever you would like. Only mandatory auxiliary that I suggest you guys use would be nitrous grip. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that right now um, because I always forget to do that when I'm going over these builds for you guys. Now, regarding my money situation, since so many of you seem to be curious, I get about three or four builds per day that I am told to test out. And if I didn't have that much money, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I hope you know it took me a day to spend about $20 million. So uh, money goes quick in this game. And I have to test you know, every car, every motor in order to get these builds. And especially from what you guys send in, I test my own builds on top of what you guys send in. So just know that there's a lot of things I'm testing at once, okay? 
Anyway, as we get into the handling tuning here, we got a 100% max grip. The steering sensitivity, my preference, one over to the right towards high. Our downforce is maxed out all the way to high. We got trash control off and drift entry off, as you will no longer be going sideways with this thing because you want to focus on corner exiting speed and keeping the most amount of speed as you can in the corners. Because if you for some reason mess up on the straight, a Vulcan will hawk you down in the corners in these things. But this thing does have slightly better corner exiting speed than the Vulcan does and better acceleration. So that's what I would say so far. So you guys, that has been my setup on the fastest S-Class setup for the 4 GT 2017. This thing is a monster. It's insane. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, man. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to go check out my boy YSN Kev, man, at YSN Kev on TikTok. That dude is going crazy, man. He's been uploading dope videos over there. And these builds that he sends me will be there before he gets them to me, if he even sends me any other ones. He was just chilling in the stream. I saw this car. I'm like, yo, bro, I got to get that build. And do you mind if I do a video on it? He said, go ahead. I definitely want to give him a big shout out once again. Appreciate you, YSN Kevin. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate y'all. It's been Magic IQ, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.